guys, welcome to the video, and yeah, n video number two on the same day. I don't think I've ever done that, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just doing this as a supplement to the video I did earlier, and that's because the developer Retro Gamer just released uh, the PS4 admin playground for 505, and this one is updated with the Vortex Hen version 1.6. It also has the updated um, game dumper, and I think it also has the updated blocker as well. So anyway, pretty much you're going to follow the instructions in that first video. I'll put the link in the description. Everything else is going to be the same. However, when you get to the part here, when you go into your network to set up your connection, you know, pick whatever you want, and then whichever one you want, you will go to then custom whether it's Wi-Fi or LAN, just go to custom. IP address, you're going to leave it automatic. This is going to stay do not specify. And then here in DNS, go to manual. And then you will put that same number into both primary and the secondary DNS. If you can't see them, don't worry about it. Look in the description. I will put them there. Then go down to next. MTU is going to stay automatic. Proxy server will be um, do not use. And then here, we don't need to test it. Let's just go ahead and go back. And this is for those of you who do not have the um, your, the web browser enabled on your home screen. You can use this going into your user guide. Also, if you do have this enabled on your, if you have the web browser already enabled on your home screen and you still want to use this, you can go ahead and use this. Just put those DNS numbers in and then just come here to the user guide to launch it. So let's go there. Let's take a look at it. Now, this one has Vortex Hand version 1.6, which actually is a little bit more stable and less buggy than the Mirror Hen, the one that was uh, in the previous video that I showed you. So, um, and this was pretty much just released also uh, recently. So, uh, and Vortex is the one we've been using on 455 really without any problems. So, this is the updated one for 505. You can come here to Homebrew Exploits. You'll see the hen right there. And when you click on it, you can come here and then you just click on Run the Exploit. And the same thing is going to happen as the other one in the other video. Um, it will also automatically uh, perma enable your web browser. Just follow the instructions in that video. If it's not on your home screen, go into the library, look for it in the library start it up and after you start it exit from it and then it should be on your home screen and it should permanently be there and permanently be enabled from now on the other thing that's here if you go to data exploits click on dumper this is what backs up your game discs and this one is a new one one that was just released for 505 and you can run the exploit here i will be showing you how to use this because there's a little um, there's a few little things you need to know here uh, before you start messing with that. Um, then you have some COM exploits, such as the FTP server, which is functional. Um, security exploits, here you have the blocker. So you may, if you didn't do it in the other one, you can run the blocker here. It's the same thing. This ju will just prevent you from accidentally installing an update. Um, so that way you ensure that you stay on 505. There's also game mods here, but these game mods they're here, but I know that these were designed for 455, so these I don't think have been updated yet. So you may want to hold off <laughs> using those for now. So if you want to give this a try, you can. It has more updated stuff, especially the hen. I think you're going to have a better experience with that. Also the um, game dumper as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, a, another um, another choice that you have when you want to run the exploit on your 505 PS4. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.